Hey everyone, I'm Max Dalton, and in this video, I'm going to talk through how to track and limit iPhone or iPad screen time using the screen time feature for iPhone and iPad. I'll also give an overview of the features available in screen time. The screen time feature was introduced by Apple as part of iOS 12 for iPhone and iPad devices. The purpose of screen time is to give users more visibility into how much time they spend on their devices and what they're doing when they're on them. Additionally, screen time makes it easy for users to schedule time when certain apps are unavailable to help them put down their devices and spend more time in the real world. While the screen time feature is great for raising awareness around how much time people spend on their iPhone or iPad and what they're doing, and making it easier for them to disconnect from their device, the decision to take action still rests with users. First, let's walk through how to turn on the screen time tracking feature on your iPhone or iPad as the feature is not enabled by default. Step 1. Tap to launch the Settings app. The Settings app opens. Step 2. Tap Screen Time. The icon to the left of Screen Time is a purple hourglass. The Screen Time screen appears. Step 3. Tap the blue Turn on Screen Time text. A Screen Time information screen appears, giving you an overview of the functionality available through the Screen Time feature. Tap the blue Continue button at the bottom of the Screen Time information screen. Step 4. The next screen asks if this iPhone or iPad is for yourself or your child. Tap This is my iPhone or iPad if this is your device, or tap This is my child's iPhone or iPad if this device is for your child. In this example, I'll select This is my iPhone. The Screen Time screen appears, indicating that you've enabled the Screen Time feature on your device. So now that you've turned the Screen Time feature on, what can you actually do with it? First, you can tap the name of your device at the top of the Screen Time screen to open a window that shows you how much time you spend on specific types of apps over the course of the current day or week, what your most used apps are, and how much time you spent on your iPhone or iPad over the course of the last week. Next, you can turn on the Downtime feature to define a specific time period where you have restricted access to your apps. When you're in downtime, you'll only be able to access apps you've given yourself access to in the always allowed part of screen time. When you try to access an app you haven't given yourself access to, you'll be greeted with a screen featuring an hourglass that says you've reached your limit. However, you will be given an option to ignore the time limit and continue accessing the app. The screen time feature also lets you set limits on how long you can use specific types of apps in the app limit section. This section lets you choose one or multiple app categories such as social networking, games, entertainment, and more, and lets you set a time limit around how much time you can spend interacting over the course of a day with those types of apps. Additionally, content and privacy restrictions are now controlled through the Screen Time section. The options in this section are the same as they have been historically. For example, you can choose whether or not to allow App Store purchases and re-downloads. You can remove specific apps from your device, you can set content restrictions, and you can modify your privacy settings. Finally, in the lower part of the Screen Time window, you can choose to set a passcode for access to the Screen Time settings, enable Share Across Devices if you want to roll up reporting from all of your devices using this iCloud account, and set up Screen Time for your family account, making it possible for you to easily apply restrictions and monitor your child accounts. Thanks for watching. Leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Click the video link on the right side of the screen to check out another video. Click the logo on the left side of the screen to subscribe to this channel to see more great videos like this one.